Hi everyone! I'm going to do a quick talkie blog, and by quick I mean under 10 minutes, because if it's not under 10 minutes, I can't post it on YouTube or Vimeo. And I haven't figured out Vimeo anyway. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do a frequently asked questions talkie blog today. I get um, questions uh, daily about what camera I use, for advice on what cameras to buy, what lenses to buy. And to be honest with you, I really don't know anything about any other camera except this D80 and um, the few lenses that I do have. So I'm going to tell you what uh, camera I have, what lenses I have, and I'm going to give you um, some recommendations on where to go to find out more about a camera or a lens that you might be interested in, and I'm going to send you over to see um, the tutorials I've already written for the Pioneer Woman. Um, in Ree's, at Ree's website, I have written um, extensively on most topics that you ask me about. So, you know, about lighting and um, focus and, um, and let's see, white balance and everything like that. Most, every topic that you might ask me about, I've already written about. And it's nice because they are, I can be very thorough and I've already been thorough in those tutorials and there's pictures to go along with it. So it's really a very basic, easy way to um, see my take on things. It's just my take and I'm, I'm not the, I'm just the one person's opinion and one person's experience here. So, um, but over, over there you can find quite a few very um, basic tutorials. So I'll send you over to those because um, I just really think that's that'll be the easiest instead of me um, repeating myself in the emails when I get them. It'd be nice that I'm going to leave this up and there's going to be a place where um, people can come and I'll, I'll direct you to the Frequently Asked page and then you can then go from there. Um, first of all, I only know about this can my Nikon D80. Uh, it's discontinued now. And I think you can still find it because I'm hearing from people that they're still getting it. But Nikon's gone on to make different cameras. Um, uh, their D90 and I think coming out soon is something called the D5000. And I don't know anything about those. Um, I don't know anything about the Canons. Uh, I know that uh, what I see and I think looks great in uh, on the Canon 5D Mark II. But I've never used one. I... I don't know anything about them. So I'm going to link a guy named Ken Rockwell and he just has a website and he gives um, stats and opinion and he, he tries them all and um, I think it's a really thorough website. There's also a place called DP Review where I think it's a pretty active uh, message board. I've often uh, Googled and asked a question about a lens or a company and uh, usually that's one of the top. Uh, spots in Google is they're sending you over DP review, so that's really good. And then Flickr, if you're on Flickr, you can ask in any of the groups that you're in. Uh, ask people what lens they have, if they like that lens. Um, there's even cer certainly there's groups for um, people who own uh, D80s. So you go to the D80 group and you say, uh, what's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite lens. And that's, or I want to get this lens, I want to get this uh, macro lens or something like that. And you ask them and you tell them, you ask, what's your favorite? What do you like about it? How much did it cost? Where did you buy it? So things like that. Um, I could only tell you uh, about the few lenses that I have. And so I know that people want more information. And I'll try to send you in the direction to get that, uh, that information. So the first lens I had was a 50 millimeter 1.8. I got it to go with the uh, with my D80. Uh, it's a solid portrait lens, they might call it. It's a prime lens. That means it doesn't move. It doesn't change. It's always just the 50. And um, I think that was an excellent choice for me. I loved it. I used it exclusively for a whole year. No other lens. Um, and then um, I got this. 1755 2.8. It's a professional kind of level lens. It's very expensive. The glass is very good. Uh, a lot of people use this as a wide angle lens. That means that you can get more people in the picture. 
and you can get more of a building in a picture, more of a field. So uh, it's an excellent lens, it's an expensive lens, but um, this is what I chose for my second lens. And uh, so that's the only other big lens that I have. I, I kind of um, upgraded my 51.8 for a 51.4 and I ended up um, not thinking it was that much better. It's got some nice light because it goes down a little lower than the 1.8 did, but um, I have real trouble focusing and getting uh, the picture looking really nice at 1.4, so basically I can only use it on 1.6, which is not that much wider than 1.8, as you can imagine. Um, it does seem to let in a lot of nice light, that 1.4 lens does, but I'm, like I said, I'm not able to use it very much on 1.4. So maybe the 1.8 would have been fine, and I, but everybody seems to love those uh, littler numbers with the bigger apertures. So I, I uh, gave that a try. Uh, I am using it, but I'm using it mostly on 1.6 to 2.2. So those are my only lenses. So um, I really can't help you if you ask about a telephoto or a macro or a seven, uh, uh, 1855 VR. I, I really don't know. Um, I don't even know really the specs very well on this camera. If somebody asked me how many megabytes it was, I think it's between 10 and 12. So I don't really know about that. Um, but I just wanted to... Um, just kind of encourage you to, to look around at those um, uh, few few sites that I'm going to send you to and then go and read the tutorials that I've already written for Re. And um, also, you know, you can ask questions and a really great place where I have found a lot of information is say I go to one of my favorite uh, photography photographers websites and lots of times they have a little thing called in my bag and that will tell you what camera they're using and what lenses they're using. and uh, so I almost almost all of them have those, and those are so full of information, and they're really great. They really help you, and um, and like I said, you ask at um, DP Review or on Flickr, and um, you know if if somebody's got it, they'll pipe up and say I love it or I hate it. You know, it's been a great a great lens. Also, I've noticed on um, B and H uh, is a website that sells photography equipment out of New York. And they have, um, you know, reviews underneath the, the um, gear. So, for instance, say you wanted some, oh, fancy macro lens. Really, I have no idea. I'd love to have one, but I really, I would have to research it because I don't even, I don't know what to get. Um, but anyway, so you'd go to the macro lenses and the, they would have stars and they'd say customer reviews. And you can go and you can see what the customers, people who bought it and paid for it, have um, what they think about it. And I seem to like those uh, customer reviews too. So that's another spot to go and see about the specific lens that you might be interested in. So um, I shoot in JPEG, so my camera's set at large fine, and I have it set on vivid most of the time. And since my camera's um, set on large fine JPEG, I can get away with just having a two gigabyte card. Um, I don't have to have huge cards because I can get 500 shots, 500 pictures on um, a card that's two gigabytes. So um, I just have two of those. It's another piece of my gear. <laughs> and also real quick, uh, a lens filter. I have a UV filter on here and um, it's okay to put this on. I was a little worried at first that it might be too um, too much glass, you know, like shooting through a windshield or a window, but they assured me it wasn't, and I've been also assured that it's a safety measure. Okay, that's almost 10 minutes already, so I have to I have to wrap this up or else I won't be able to upload it. So um, thanks for asking the questions, and I hope this will help, and I hope my links that I give you will help a lot too. And uh, uh, just I'll keep, I'll keep posting and I'll keep writing over for Pioneer Woman and I hope that's helpful to you. Thanks for asking. Bye-bye.